Hi, I'm Albert Ide, and I produced and directed Bluegrass Country Soul. About a year and a half ago, we started work to restore the film so that we could present an archival copy to the Bluegrass Museum. But this project quickly became much more than that. I've been very fortunate to be able to get back in touch with many of the great bluegrass musicians that I worked with nearly five decades ago. And we began to assemble a wide assortment of vivid memories from people throughout the bluegrass community. And we quickly got a new perspective on the historic importance of that festival. So we combined all of this fascinating material into a comprehensive box set. And we're very proud to announce today the Golden Anniversary Legacy Edition of Bluegrass Country Soul, a box set that will be a multimedia experience telling the extraordinary story of one particular bluegrass festival in 1971 that soon became legendary. Inside the box, the first thing you'll find will be a 168-page hardcover coffee table book with lots of photographs telling the stories of the many people that came together at that festival. Of course, there's the origin story about bluegrass music itself and Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys, many of whom were there and performed in the film. There's the Carlton Haney story, told in his own words, the man who started the first multi-day bluegrass music festival in 1965. There's the story of the group of young filmmakers from Washington, D.C., who were planning to make their first feature-length motion picture. And of course, most importantly of all, there are the incredible stories of the hundreds of bluegrass artists that came from all across the country to appear and perform at that festival, including coming from overseas. Now there will also be the movie itself, both in a standard DVD and in a high-definition Blu-ray version with enhanced surround sound and in the widescreen format in which it was originally shown in movie theaters. Now there will be a commentary track by Fred Bartenstein that's been updated and will include a guest artist. Now since a feature film could only have so many songs in it, we're going to have two additional CDs of music that was not heard in the film and there'll be some of the patter between songs as well as some of the stage announcements. There's also going to be a brand new documentary about the making of Bluegrass Country Soul called The First Bluegrass Film and there'll be additional interviews with musicians and from uh, filmmakers who were there. There'll be reproductions of several of the pages from Carlton Haney's Mule Skinner News from the summer and fall issues back in 1971 including the original schedule of performances at the festival. There will be reproductions of the original movie poster and handbill. And for those who were at Bluegrass Park and remember it, there will be a recipe for Carlton Haney's famous Brunswick stew that was sold at the festival by the Bucketful. Now this three and a half pound box set will be mailed to you with free shipping within the continental United States by September 1st. The first 1,000 orders will receive a book plate on which you'll have your name and the number of your limited edition. Now if you like, you can have your name in the final credits of the film or you can honor or memorialize someone with your purchase. This fall, the film will be screened at the Bluegrass Hall of Fame and Museum in Owensboro, Kentucky. And your name will be right up there on the screen each time it is shown. Additional benefits are available at higher purchase levels. And any help you can give us on our crowdfunding campaign will be gratefully acknowledged. Now, many of us got our first taste of bluegrass music at a bluegrass festival. And this is going to be a way for us to share that experience with so many others. And at the same time, help to restore an important chapter in the history of bluegrass music. Thank you for visiting BluegrassCountrySoul.com. I hope to meet you all at a Bluegrass Festival soon.